friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach. I follow Weight Watchers and I count calories and macros. Happy Monday, it is Monday and it is meal prep day. I have three amazing recipes for you. We have a good hearty breakfast, an amazing kind of Chinese inspired lunch and a Christmas dessert. So if you're excited, give this video a big, huge thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and your bell notification is turned on because I do a meal prep every Monday and I upload five videos per week. Check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching where I offer personalized macros and calories. Highly recommend definitely have yours done before the new year so we can make 2023 the best year yet. I also offer one-on-one -on -one coaching if you would like to chat with me directly. Links, discounts to my favorite things, and come join our Facebook group. We would love to have you. So let's head into the kitchen and do this week's meal prep. this week, I am making a fireman's breakfast casserole. So this is going to be loaded with protein, loaded with veggies. I'm actually going to add some spinach to mine just for some extra greens. So let me show you what's in the recipe. First, you're going to need salt and pepper. As always, I will link my gravity fed salt and pepper grinders down below for you. You're going to need lots and lots of eggs, some whole milk. Again, I'm adding some baby spinach. I am on a mission to get in more my microgreens. So I'm going to add in spinach. You won't even know it's there and you're going to get the big punch of vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants. You'll need some light shredded cheese, sliced mushrooms, low fat or fat free cream of mushroom soup, garlic powder, an onion. I'm using ground chicken. You could also use a turkey sausage. I'm just going to season my ground chicken with some sage and give it the whole sausage vibe, but save lots of points and calories. And then lastly, you're going to need a green bell pepper. So the first thing I'm going to do is dice up my onion and my green bell pepper. So I'm going to get my ground chicken browning. I'm going to add some salt, pepper, and sage. Once your meat is cooked, we're going to add in our mushrooms, our chopped up green pepper, our chopped up onion. And then I, like I said, I'm going to add some baby spinach. I'm just going to lightly tear that up just into smaller pieces. And we're going to allow this to cook down for about six to seven minutes or until our vegetables soften. Go ahead and grease a nine by 13 baking dish with some nonstick cooking spray. We're going to crack in 12 eggs. Do your best to keep your yolks intact as you're cracking the eggs into your baking dish. Then we're going to take a toothpick and just poke a hole right in the center of the yolks. One cup of whole milk, you're going to pour that right on top. And then we're going to top with half of a cup of light shredded cheese. Then we have our yummy mixture with all our veggies. We're going to add that right to the top. Now we're going to add the other half of a cup of light shredded cheese on top. Cover this with foil and throw it in the refrigerator. You can actually keep this in your refrigerator overnight, but I'm just going to throw it in the fridge for just a couple of hours while we do the rest of our meal prep. So I'm going to go ahead and put my breakfast casserole in a 350 degree oven, and then we're going to make up a mushroom sauce to top the casserole. Now the mushroom sauce for this casserole is optional. I'm 100% going to make it, and the points will include the sauce. You can recalculate the points if you choose not to make the mushroom sauce, but you're going to need a can of low fat, fat-free cream of mushroom soup, half of a cup of milk, and some garlic powder, Go ahead and stir that together and then we're going to put it into a small saucepan and heat it on the stove. 
So you can go ahead and add all your ingredients directly to the saucepan instead of dirtying up another bowl. But we're just going to allow the sauce to heat through. I'm going to put it into a storage container and then when I eat the casserole each day, I will top it with some of the mushroom sauce. I just pulled our breakfast casserole out of the oven. Doesn't this look so good? It smells delicious. It is packed with protein, packed with vegetables. Such a great high protein meal prep this week. I will go ahead and put serving sizes, points, calories, macros here on the screen for you. this week I'm making orange chicken. Now you can pair this with your favorite rice, cauliflower rice. I'm not going to make any rice at this point. Doesn't mean that I won't make some during the week, but I'm just going to make up the orange chicken. So let me show you what's in the recipe. First you're going to need salt and pepper, orange juice. I'm using Trop 50 just to save points and calories, some coconut aminos or soy sauce, honey, apple cider vinegar, cornstarch, one fresh orange, ginger, minced garlic, broccoli, a pound of chicken breast, and some green onion. So the first thing we're going to do is make the orange chicken sauce. So in my measuring cup here, I have three quarter cup of orange juice. We're going to do two tablespoons of either coconut aminos or soy sauce. One tablespoon of honey. One teaspoon of apple cider vinegar salt, one tablespoon of cornstarch, and then we're going to zest in a couple teaspoons of fresh orange zest. Stir everything together really well until that cornstarch is dissolved and the sauce will then start to thicken. And then go ahead and set your sauce aside. We're going to dice up our chicken breast into little bite-sized pieces. To our chicken, we're going to add one tablespoon of cornstarch and some salt and pepper. And then with a fork, just mix that until your chicken is coated in the cornstarch. Go ahead and spray a skillet with some nonstick cooking spray. Add your chicken and we're going to allow it to cook until crispy. Now we're going to add in our ginger and our garlic and we're going to allow it to cook down for another couple of minutes. Then we're going to add in our orange sauce and we're going to let that cook until nice and thick. I do have my broccoli steaming in the microwave. Your sauce should thicken up pretty quickly with the cornstarch on the chicken and then the cornstarch in the sauce. So my orange chicken is done. Let me just tell you how incredible this smells. Reminds me of when you walk into Panda Express for their orange chicken, but this is a much healthier version. And then I just pulled out my broccoli. Who remembers? Leave me down in the comments if you have or remember this Pampered Chef steamer. I've had this thing for 10 years and I love it. I use it all the time. So let me know, do you have one? Do you remember this? Do you want to get one? I think Pampered Chef actually still sells it. So what I'm going to do is transfer my orange chicken into a storage container. And then I'm going to put my broccoli into a storage bowl as well. And then I'm just going to slice up some green onions right on top of my orange chicken. So like I said, I may make some rice later in the week. I may make some cauliflower rice. I may just eat the orange chicken and the broccoli. I've really been loving putting Kerrygold real full fat butter on my steamed vegetables. It just adds so much flavor. So I might actually just do that. Add a little bit of salt and pepper and butter to my broccoli and just eat my orange chicken as is. We'll just kind of see how the week takes us. But this is going to be my orange chicken for meal prep and some steamed broccoli. I'll go ahead and put points, calories, macros here on the screen for you. this week I am making Christmas truffles. These are perfect easy sweet treats to make for holiday 
festivity. So let me show you what's in our recipe. First, you're going to need vanilla extract, flour. I'm going to sub the Kodiak protein flour. I love this substitution. It just adds some extra protein. You'll need some light butter, sugar alternative. Of course, I'm using Lakanto granulated. I will link Lakanto down below with 15% off site wide. You're also going to need some low fat milk, sugar free cake mix, Lily's white chocolate chips or some type of low sugar white chocolate chip and some Christmas themed sprinkles. So to get started on our truffles, super, super easy. We're going to add one cup of sugar-free cake mix, one half of a cup of Lakanto granulated, one half of a cup of flour, two tablespoons of milk, about half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, a quarter cup of light butter melted, and then about a tablespoon of Christmas sprinkles. And then we're going to stir this together. We want to make sure that the batter, that the mixture can easily be formed into balls. So if it's too dry, just add a little bit more milk, but mine looks to be a pretty good consistency. And here is what your truffle mixture should look like. Now we're going to take our mixture and roll it into little balls, uh, little truffle sized balls. Our goal is 24, but we'll see how many we get out of our batch and we'll kind of figure our points based on that. So I ended up with 20 little Christmas truffles. We're going to throw these in the fridge for 20 to 30 minutes. So I have my Lily's chocolate chips. I'm going to put these in the microwave and melt these down. Make sure you're stirring frequently so the chocolate doesn't seize up. And we're actually going to dip our truffles in the white chocolate. We're going to take our little truffles. I like to reshape them. And then we're going to dip them in the white chocolate and then put them back on to the baking sheet. I added a tiny bit of milk to it to kind of thin it out a little bit because it was just caking up a little bit on the truffles and I want to see how many I can actually get rolled in this white chocolate. So that's a little tip is you can add a little bit of milk to thin it out. Also before your white chocolate dries, if you want to add a little bit of sprinkles, make sure you add it on before it dries. So I'm going to leave some without sprinkles and add sprinkles to the others. So I ended up running out of the white chocolate. You can see those first three are really, really thickly coated. So through trial and error, this is my first time making this recipe, I would definitely, definitely recommend thinning it out with some milk. So I decided to go ahead and melt down some regular Lily's chocolate chips and I'm going to roll the last few of my little truffles in just chocolate instead of white chocolate. I'm out of the Lily's white chocolate chips. So yes, definitely, definitely add a little bit of milk to your chocolate as you melt it down. That's going to thin it out, which is a good thing, and make it go a lot further. So here are the Christmas truffles. These look so festive and so fun. I actually like the mix of the white chocolate and the regular chocolate. I think that adds just pretty contrast on the plate. I will go ahead and put serving size, points, calories, macros, here on the screen for you, but this is going to be a great treat for Christmas and pretty low point, pretty low calorie. Thank you for joining me for this week's meal prep. I hope you enjoyed seeing all three recipes. I'm really excited to have healthy meals on hand to help me stay on track through the holiday season. All of my recipes, as always, will be on my recipe website, which will be linked at the top of the description box. Make sure you check that out so you can also find nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and don't forget, come and join our Facebook group. We'd love to have you. Thank you for watching, friends, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye! Jingle bells ringing in my ear.